Hi everyone, this video is for educators that are using Canvas. It is part of my tutorial list that I've got going on my YouTube channel. So if you've missed any of my other videos regarding Canvas, take a look at the playlist. I'll link it down below in the description for you. I'm going to take you through how to use the mobile application version of Canvas, which is much different than the desktop version. There are some really wonderful ways that you can use the, the phone, the app on your phone or your tablet. So if you're on the go or if you are, you know, working around your house right now teaching online classes, there's some great things that you can also use for the classroom when you do go back to teaching inside a classroom. The teacher version is going to have the yellow icon. The student version has the red icon. When you open it up for the first time, it's going to ask you to log in. So for example, I will go down and what I would do is I would go here, I would click find my school, I would type in my school name, but as you can see, I, I teach at a few different schools that use Canvas, and so I've already got those logged in. So find your school, log in, you'll have to use your Canvas password and, and um, username for each school separately. And then once you have that, you can click in and it will show the classes that you have registered on Canvas. You can do a couple different things. You can click courses, and see the courses that you have in your dashboard. You can also go up over here to the left and you can see that we'll have your school address for that school in particular, your name. You can um, upload a file image. Typically, you can do that on Canvas on the desktop as well. You have a few different um, abilities that you can do here in settings. So if you take a look at the settings, you can click what landing page is going to be, meaning the page that's going to show up when you open Canvas. You can also do your notifications here. So if you want to check out the push notifications, you can tick these on or off if you want. I like having the submission comments, that notification set on, so that I can see immediately if a student responds to anything, I can um, get back to them. But you can set those up however you'd like to. And then if you notice, you can click into a class here. And here's one of my classes that I taught in the winter this, this year at UCI. You see that you do not have access to every single thing that you have on the desktop version. That's because this is mobile and it's more it's simplified, but you can still see all of your announcements. You can add an announcement by clicking on the plus sign in the top right. You can also click on assignments and you can see all the assignments that you have. You can click through all of the modules and the students have this same version as well, very similar to what you're seeing. So you can see all of the modules that you have. You can also click on attendance. And what I like to do is I use sometimes in the classroom, if I'm taking attendance and it's a small class, I will actually take attendance on my cell phone. It's quick, it's easy for me. And if it's a large class, I will set up my iPad that I have and I will open the mobile version and I will have them sign up on their own in class if it's a really large one. Um, the students really like it. It also gives me a chance to kind of connect with them and talk to them at the beginning of class before everything gets started. You can also click on discussions and you can see all of the discussion posts. You can also click the top plus button on the right and add a discussion if you'd like to. You can click on people and see a list of everybody in the class. Think of it as your roster. You can click pages and see any pages that you have created in the class, files, and then I've got quizzes on here as well. So this is really the basics. Notice that you do not have grades on here. You cannot see the grade book and you can't create assignments. You don't really have the ability to create a lot of different types of assignments, quizzes, exams, anything like that on the mobile app. You can also click on student view and you can see what it looks like for the student. What I would suggest is actually downloading the student app as well so that you can log in and see what it looks like um, from the student's perspective. What I also like to do is when I start a class, the first day of class, if it's face to face, I have them all actually log into Canvas together and I will have them see the syllabus or I will allow them to see other elements that I've made public for them and they can look at it right on their phone. Using the mobile app is really helpful for you if you're on the go or if you are at your house and you don't want to open your laptop up. Just keep in mind that the basics of actually creating your class is going to be done on your desktop computer or your laptop computer, not through the actual app that you can download. But it's a great thing for your students to know as well because a lot of them are going to actually be using the app for their assignments 
and for their um, to see the modules so that they can study material on their own when they're on the go. Some of them may not even have a computer. So it's a great thing to utilize not only for the students, but for yourself as well. If this video was helpful for you, please consider clicking the um, like button on the bottom here. Click subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. I have new videos coming out every single week. I hope this helps you. Happy teaching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.